This episode of Coronavirus North Carolina News Brief is brought to you by Right By You Mortgage. Wherever life takes you, we're right by you. Visit rightbyumortgage.com slash podcast to learn more. From WRAL News and the Capital Broadcasting Podcast Network, this is your Coronavirus North Carolina News Brief for Wednesday, November 11th, 2020. I'm Brian Schrader. North Carolina's climb in coronavirus cases and the shattering of new records has prompted Governor Roy Cooper to keep the state paused in phase three for at least three more weeks and also implement new restrictions for indoor gatherings. Group sizes now are limited to 10 or fewer people indoors. Cooper urged families to pay particular attention to those restrictions as we get closer to Thanksgiving. We can put the sickness and the economic hurt in the rearview mirror if we pull together. That takes everybody committing to a safe holiday, even if it means changes this year. Reduce the invite list, space out your tables, get a COVID test before the event, or better yet, connect virtually. I know North Carolinians are creative and will find amazing ways to celebrate the holidays while still keeping our communities safe. The current restrictions are in place until early December. Experts around the country and here in North Carolina are optimistic about the Pfizer vaccine. This week, the pharmaceutical company announced that its version of the coronavirus vaccine is 90 percent effective. NC State professor Dr. Julie Swan, who advised the CDC during the H1N1 response, talked with WRL's Gerald Owens. She believes the state is ready and has the proper logistics in place for mass distribution as soon as it's approved. With the vaccine looking 90 percent effective, as they say, how excited should we be about this news? It is really positive news. We, we just have not known how well the vaccine, uh, these new vaccines are going to work. We know that they have to be at least 50% effective for the FDA to approve them, but this is really positive news. Of course, we don't know everything yet, but it's definitely in the right direction. Uh, does this put Pfizer at the forefront of the vaccine race as you look at it? Well, Pfizer has been a little bit ahead of some of the other companies, but there are some that are right behind them. So Moderna is also pretty close. They are in phase three. They are expecting results soon. There are two others behind that. Uh, It's certainly possible that Pfizer will be the first one, but I am anticipating that next year we will have a portfolio of options available. State officials estimate 7 million doses will be needed to cover everyone here in North Carolina once it is cleared for distribution. From what you've seen of the state's planning, is North Carolina ready for this undertaking? Absolutely. The state has been working very hard, and and state, local health departments, uh, providers, everybody is working hard. Those 7 million doses, or perhaps even more if you take into account the second dose that is needed, will not all be available at the same time. This will roll out over time. So it won't be quite the flood that that would make it seem like. It will still be challenging across many fronts, but lots of different parties are working now to help ensure that we have a a good distribution system in place for the vaccine. For most of us who aren't familiar with the process, what kind of preparations are already taking place to distribute a vaccine? So um, we are getting the information systems in place for ordering and tracking and registries. Plans are being made about priority populations and how best to reach them. Providers are signing up to be uh, administrators of of vaccine to individuals. There are plans being worked at with uh, commercial pharmacies. Um, We're also looking at the ultra low cold chain requirements for Pfizer and and for others. And I say we, but this this work is really the the state health department and the other partners around the nation with many different organizations, including private companies participating as well. What's the most realistic timeline for vaccine delivery? You could see a small number of doses at the end of this year. I'm really not expecting a lot in 2020. I think we'll start to see more roll out, really January, February. But for the average person, I am not expecting that I'm going to be able to get vaccine in January or February. I think in the best case, maybe we'll really start seeing some more doses available beyond those first initial priority populations, more like March, April, that kind of time frame. We'll have a new president in January. What immediate changes do you expect to see from the new administration in terms of messaging and policy? Well, of course, we do still have the, the current president, the current administration. So it'll be tricky because there will be more, more than one thing going on at the same time. We are starting to see some of those plans. There's 
still a lot of details to be worked out and a lot of details to be laid out. And so I think that over time we will start to see those, but you know, we're just not there yet on that part, but, but there will start to be changes in messaging. This has been your Coronavirus North Carolina News Brief for Wednesday, November 11th, 2020. Let us know what you think of the podcast. Leave a rating or review wherever you listen, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a new episode. I'm Brian Schrader. Thanks for listening. When it comes to buying a new home, you want to know that you're in good hands. At Right By You Mortgage, the dedicated team of lenders live in your community and are committed to being right by you every step of the way. Whether you're a growing family, a relocating professional, or a retiring couple, they'll partner with you to find the right loan to fit your unique home buying needs. Plus, listeners of this podcast will enjoy the Right By You Mortgage on-time closing guarantee. They promise to close on time or they'll pay you and the seller $500. Visit rightbyumortgage.com slash podcast to take advantage of this offer. Wherever life takes you, we're right by you. Go to rightbyumortgage.com slash podcast for full details. Equal housing lender, NMLS number 402136.